Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the IP Geo plugin. This gives you basic geographic information for a user. Um, you'll get, you can see it right here in the description of the plugin, you'll get their address, city, region, country, their postal code, and their uh, location coordinates, um, which you can use to plot on a map. Now, one of the requirements to make this plugin work is that you are also going to need the user's IP address. The plugin does not provide that for you. you you need to supply the IP address. The easiest way to do that is to use Bubbles plugin for getting the user's IP address, and that's this one here. Okay, so install both of these um, to, so that they can work together, and I'm going to show you how to set things up and take a look at the results. So I'm going to add a text element to my page here, and in the text I'm going to insert dynamic data and go to get data from an external API. Okay, now in the API provider, I'm just gonna type in IP and I can filter my results a little bit. Here is the IP Geo plugin call, IP info get geo from IP. So I'm gonna click on that and uh, you'll see that there is a placeholder IP address. You will need to replace this with the user's actual IP address, okay? Um, before you can actually display um, accurate results from the plugin. So before I do that, you'll see here, once I put in this dynamic expression, I can now show any one of these details for the user's location. Okay, so for example, the city. So I'm gonna click back on the, on the main part of the expression. And for the IP address, I'm going to insert dynamic data again and do get data from an external API. And again, I'm just gonna type in IP to help me search for it. And at the very, very bottom, you can see get users IP address. Now this is coming from the bubble plugin, okay? This is from the IP geo plugin, and then this is from the bubble plugin. So I'll click on that. That's all you need to do. Now, if I go over just to check on my expression here, you can see that it is inserting whatever the bubble plugin is gonna grab for the user's IP address, okay? And then we can properly navigate to the user's city, their region, their coordinates, uh, their postal code, things like that. So I'm gonna just preview the page here. We should see a San Francisco city, there we go, Santa Clara. And uh, I'm gonna use the inspector for my debugger and click on this text and then I'm going to evaluate this text here and then click on just the general part here of IP info just so that you can see the values of all of the other um, fields right so I can do this with separate text elements but just really quickly so that you can see everything in one go here um, the IP geo plugin does also return the IP address that was used so um, you can display that back there there's a city, region, California, country, US. There are my coordinates, so I can plot it on a map, and their zip code. Okay, um, now I'm going to add a map to my page, so you can see how to use this as well with a map. Now this map uh, needs an address for it. Now the IP Geo plugin doesn't give you an exact address, but it does gives you, give you uh, coordinates. So one way to do this so that you can get an address out of those coordinates is to use the search box um, element. So I'm going to add that to the page. And this search box, we're going to set the choice styles to geographic places. And the default value, I'm going to set to the user's coordinates from the IPGO plugin. So I'm just going to right click and copy this expression, go back to my search box here right click and paste this expression and instead of the city for a little bit more precise uh, of a location i'm going to do those coordinates which is this loc for location uh, field okay now the value of this search box is an actual address and this map can pull from that search uh, search box so the address for the map is going to be the search box's value okay so now i'm going to refresh the page so we can see how this looks And there you go, so you see the map updated. Here it gave me an exact address based on those coordinates. Uh, and this is basically uh, the setup that you can use uh, when you want to uh, plot things on a map or just simply show information about where the user is currently without them having to type it in or look it up. 
simply by, by um, getting their IP address. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. There are many, many tutorials just like this in our VIP membership. If you are not a VIP member currently, you can read more about it and learn how to join in the description below as well. Thanks for watching.